Hey guys, this is Alrighty then with your uh, weekly video installment. This is a GTO SL 2000B, I believe. GTO SL 2000B, it's a gate opener. And um, a couple weeks ago, the gate would start to open and then it would close. So what was happening is when the gate feels resistance or if you were if there was somebody in the way of the gate the gate automatically stops and pulls back and it kept on doing this and uh, I did the diagnostic what they do is they tell you to run the motor without the chain and if the motor runs okay then it's probably the gate and I was like well you know I don't know about that let me see what's going on so what I did was I disconnected the chain from the gate and I went ahead and ran the motor and you're supposed to run your voltmeter on the motor and it, it went it, it was within the specs of the manufacturer but then when I tried to push the gate I noticed that the it was very very hard so understandably the gate when it was trying to open and close the gate because it met such resistance it was thinking hey there's got to be something in the way so it automatically stopped so all I had to do was just fix that one wheel right there of the gate and that was it. But now I have a different problem. Right now the gate just doesn't open at all. It clicks, it's making a noise, it's clicking, but it's not opening. So uh, I think it's the battery that the, there was a loose terminal in there and the battery went down. And they say the batteries last between two to three years and it's been about that time. So I'm just going to go ahead and change the battery and hopefully that will fix everything. And I went ahead and I printed up all the instructions. Um, uh, you can go to the website, and I'll put the link on. Uh, I'll put the link on the bottom. Um, but you can go, and they pretty much uh, have all the troubleshooting questions, and that's how I find out about the resistance of the the of the, the wheel on the gate. Again, these are all things that you guys can do. I ended up installing this all by myself. It wasn't very hard. Uh, most of these things you can do if you have a little bit of knowledge and you don't even need a lot I'm not an engineer I'm not an electrician but it makes sense you know um, so I went ahead and I downloaded the instructions and here we are I'm gonna open it up and let you guys see what's inside If you haven't been at your gate for a while, make sure there are no wasps underneath it. So you might want to check it out. I already checked mine out. There wasn't any in there. Okay. So here it is. The Go, the GTO Pro SL2000. There we are. This is the motor. You, you adjust the opening and the closing by moving these pins back and forth so you open this move the pin close it and that's how it knows when to open and when to close when there's enough movement this is the AC adapter that converts the AC to DC in order to charge the battery to keep it charged up all the time this is the remote control um, receiver so I'm just gonna open up this cover here's my old battery here's my new battery so if I, the system is on right now, and if I click with the clicker, you notice it just makes a clicking noise. So that means something's not working. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. And based on the, based on the, um, on the instructions, it's more likely that this is just, the battery is just dead. So I'm going to disconnect the terminals. There it is. The NP712 volt F7 amp. That's right. I got the same one right here. So I'm going to put this one in. Then the negative terminal goes to the negative terminal. Positive terminal goes to the positive. So now when I turn this back on, should be okay. So let's see what happens. 
Okay, you see guys? Easy, that was it. Bad battery. So now all I have to do is connect my chain back to here. I'm gonna connect my chain right there. So let's see if I can do this. See that? Look at that, man. That was something else. That was pretty easy. So let me get the chain connected. And that's that, man. Look at that. Quick. Very, very quick. Sorry. So again, these things are... You know, if, if just if you do a little research, a little research goes a long way. And I had noticed that when I opened the gate initially, before it failed, that the gate was opening really slow. But at last, it let me close it, it or it let me open it by hand with the assistance of the battery. But then once the battery went dead, that was it. So now I'm connected. I'm gonna click my clicker. And look at that, look how she opens. But I think it needs to open a little bit more. So let's see when it... It might close a little bit too hard, I'm not sure. We'll take a look at it. Oh, nope, it's perfect. All right, guys, easy fix. It was just the battery, so. Once again, let's break this down. This is the motor. You use these little switches here. Uh, this is the stop switch for opening, and then the stop switch for closing is right down here right in here the stop switch for opening the stop switch for closing if I go like this you could see the other switch in there so this is the opening switch this is the closing switch and this little pin is connected to the shaft so I'll show you what happens when you close it the whole thing moves and once it gets down to the other switch That's when you know it stops, or that's when it knows to stop. So that's all you need to do when you're adjusting it. Once again, this is my uh, AC adapter that converts AC voltage into DC that connects it into the battery or into the motherboard here that controls everything. This is the little warning beep so that when, um, uh, if the gate gets stuck or whatever, it's gonna make a little beeping noise. And now everything is good. Uh, the light is probably red because the battery is a little bit low on charge, but that'll be okay. These are your two fuses right here. Uh, as the, if you ever get a short or something, the first thing you do is you want to check these fuses, but problem solved. Very easy to fix, very easy to uh, put back to, uh, to troubleshoot. They have great instructions online. And look at that. So for 21 bucks, I just fixed it. It would have cost me, I don't know, 65 bucks to have a technician come over here plus another. He probably would have charged me 50 bucks for the uh, for the battery and a little trip to Batteries Plus. They knew exactly what motor it was and problem fixed. So now let's put it back together. We put the cover with these plastic screws. I'm gonna put the remote little thing right back here. It's out of the way, nothing's gonna happen. And I'm happy, that's awesome. But then again, it wouldn't have been anything super difficult anyway. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put the screws on this thing here. Just line up the holes on the case, the cover motor cover put the second one and I usually like to put them finger tight first because this case is 
really tight and if the holes don't line up then it's a kind of a pain in the butt that's it for that now let's do this side I hope you can see there but this is the if you can't do this then hmm. All right, guys, so how long did that take? Remember, one cut, one take. That was it. There we go. All right, guys, as you can see, it's all done. And I'm going to do one more test. Let's open it up again. There she is. She opens all the way. And she closes. So this was a how-to video on the GT O Pro SL 2000 B um, and like I said I'm gonna have the link down on the bottom to the control uh, to the troubleshooting website and you guys with a little bit of research most of these things you can do uh, worst case scenario if you can't fix it then you call the guy but look in what they take me about five minutes that's it 21 bucks. Easy fix. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. I'm waiting.